we started in the morning, it was very low and very gloomy. We could feel the absence of Rashi. This is Rashi's bed and I'm really missing her, yaar. I know. I remember how we used to talk in the night after yeah. our tasks and have fun. I was in bottom three. According to Lara and all other panelists, my performance was a disaster. I'm hoping that I'll, be, I'll perform better today and I'll give my best. Good morning. Yes. Welcome to day three of Yamaha Ficino Miss Diva 2015. Don't think you girls expected how hard it was going to be. Yeah. But like I explained, it's just going to get harder. Let's turn up the heat. What is your challenge today? We really uh, were curious as to what the task is going to be. What sets apart a Miss Universe, a pageant winner, from a supermodel? Beauty, brains, personality, warmth, grace, all of it makes the entire whole package. But there's one thing that you will use 90% of the time to get all of that out, and that is your voice. So one of the most crucial key things that it takes to stand on this stage and win this competition is your communication skills. And that is what we are going to test today. So your challenge today is called Grill Room. My heartbeat was too, but tuck, 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 type. I don't know what she will ask me and I'm prepared or not. I was happy because I'm, I'm someone who loves to voice her opinion and I've always been part of debates and presentations. You're going to meet our panelists, answer whatever is thrown at you. So if there's any more mm's and uh's and I don't know and I think and <laughs> you know, so we're going to have to do away with all of that. Yes? Right after I won, a week after I moved from Cyprus to New York, where I was based as Miss Universe, I was asked to go and address the Harvard AIDS Institute and what the sub-Saharan uh, crisis was in terms of HIV AIDS crisis. Now, these are the guys in Boston who discovered AIDS. So I was going there telling them what I thought the situation in sub-Saharan Africa was like. And there are no speeches. There is nobody sitting there writing a speech for you that you will deliver. It is your take, your perspective, your thought on what this is. So girls, I cannot stress any more in telling you, you have to be up to date, okay? We don't even know what questions they are going to ask. Um, it can be uh, about our personal life. It can be about general knowledge. It can be about uh, life. Um, it can be about anything. I just had a little bit of nervous ki wo log aisa question na pooch le jo current affairs is related ho because I'm not very well aware of that. This is going to be the most important interview of your life. So you have a few minutes. Compose yourselves. Get ready. Hi, Aishwarya. Hello. Hi, Hello. hi, hi. Hi, Aishwarya. Come, take a seat. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How yeah, are you doing? I'm good. We have some wonderful panelists with us today. Yes. We have Nachiket, Hello. who is hi. one of our ace designers. Of course, you That's have Soha Ali Khan. Hi. Dino Lara. Hi. <laughs> and Dino. Dino. Hello. Okay, Aishwarya, if you were in the middle of this pageant, and say you suffered a wardrobe malfunction on stage, how would you handle that? I would uh, adjust myself deal with it and just laugh it off and walk with full confidence the way I entered because uh, at the end of the day it depends and uh, it shows how you deal with such situations and how you overcome them so I would laugh it off. Oh, thank you Ashwarya. Thank, 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 thank you very much. Thank, thank you so thank much. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's a pretty face, no doubt. Very pretty. Very pretty. She grab your attention. Does she keep you there? Does she keep it you there? It's a little bit dull. dull. Namaste. Namaste. I didn't want to make a grammatical mistake where I have a minus point in front of me. Our Rashtra Bhasha is also Hindi. So I chose it and I started Hindi. So do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Do you want to tell us about it? I've been with him for 7 years. 7 years? Yeah. 7 years have been completed basically. I've been married. If I was married, I probably wouldn't be here, right? If, like, you know, God gives you a choice and you can choose that true love 
एंड इमेंस फेम एंड सक्सेस दोनों में से एक ही चूज कर सकते हो तो आप क्या चूज करेंगे अब मैं थोड़ी सी नर्वस जरूर थी जब उन्होंने मुझसे पूछा अबाउट माई रिलेशनशिप अबाउट माई करियर तो आई एम प्रिटी श्योर कि मुझे किसके साथ जाना है और कैसे रहना है तो मैं करियर चूज करूंगी क्योंकि करियर के साथ अगर वो अंडरस्टैंडिंग है तो मेरे साथ आगे भी साथ रहेगा ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू नमस्ते good in her language in, in hindi polish yeah i like her yeah. she's polished i like the way that she spoke there was a confidence, confidence. she's definitely more I confident know. and got a spark in her eye correct are you wearing contact lenses yeah why don't you don't you believe in your own yeah. no, beauty as is yeah i believe that enhances my eyes so But let's ask you this uh If contact lenses enhances your eyes, if you were asked to go under the knife and cosmetically enhance some other part of your body, would you be ready to do it? I wouldn't do that. If it's good that. to further your career, I wouldn't do that. I feel I performed well, but uh, I need to improve, and uh, I'm gonna pull up my socks and give my best at uh, upcoming tasks. You can talk to me. <laughs> So yeah, I was back here. But I haven't asked you a question. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. The last time you read the Economic Times, give us the headline. Give us something that what was highlighted that? there. Uh, After roasting the lovely chicks in the grill room, Hello, judges. the judges have now decided to let off the smoke and lighten up the air a bit. Elena do you want to tell us very quickly just so that everybody knows just about yourself I'm Elena Catherine Amman I'm currently pursuing my masters What's happening You know I think you have a really nice uh, notepad from Ms Diva but I'm really sad that you can't write anything so please buy this pen <laughs> because you can actually write something. Well, what's so good about that pen? It's a normal pen, but then this is the first thing which you need right now. So I think this is the best pen. You can talk to me. So yeah, I was back here. But I haven't asked you a question. <laughs> but that's all right. Can you please make me a cup of tea? All right. Okay, Purva, your time is up. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Come back, come back. Come back. Come back. Oh my god. Got ticket. Can you tell me what is your view on gay marriages in India? Do you think they should be legalized? Yes, I think they should be legalized Why? because I think that we can love anyone and we can go and marry anyone. It's against nature, but uh, if you love anyone, you can marry. Nature के हिसाब से ये मतलब against कैसे होता है? Against इसलिए है क्योंकि हमेशा से हम लोगों ने यही देखते हुए आए कि एक एक औरत एक मर्द से शादी करती है और ये किसने कहा? Maybe they didn't like my answer or maybe they felt that I was not confident. Let's see. I'm looking forward for the result. Simran. Tell us five things on your bucket list like top five things that this is must achieve. Five things on my bucket list first of all would be if it was possible I would love to travel in the past okay. in the past to what yeah. era to the slavery era I want to see how it was you want to go back into the past yes and deal with slavery right I would uh, like to see how they felt because uh, I really want to do something about it okay. even now right. it exists I'm not to even sure that how it went. Maybe it was uh, good for me and bad for them. I have no idea. Maybe it was good for them and uh, I'm not feeling uh, as happy as I should be and as I was hoping for. You know also having lived abroad most of your life. Why do you think you're the right choice to represent India in this competition? Just living in abroad didn't make me less Indian. So I'm still Indian so I can represent India wherever or whenever because I am Indian. They asked me a lot of questions regarding that. Do I think that I'm Indian enough? I was okay. I didn't have the perfect answers, but uh, it was all right. 
seems. I think she's definitely very confident. Mm. There's a bit of a drawl and laziness in the way that she speaks. If you offered your dream film, your dream role, the you're, most yeah. perfect... Great banner, great producer. Would you choose that or would you... And you knew you were really going to win this. Go through with the pageant. Well, the judges asked me that uh, if given a choice, would I like to do a Hollywood film or a Bollywood film like with Brad Pitt or Miss Universe, like Miss Diva? So I, my uh, answer to them was like, I would definitely go for Miss Diva, like Miss Universe, because this is what I'm here for. Why the dream then? Because that's my dream. Are you getting emotional about it? Why are you crying? Um, what is the reason? Like I said, you know, everybody has a dream and small, small dreams, you know. Sometimes uh, it's something you want money in your life, sometimes you want a particular dream. So this is my dream, you know, it's as simple as Why that. Why Miss Universe? Um, Lara, you have inspired me so much. Not only me, but, you know, millions of people out there. She's, she's such a great pride for our country, and I want to do something like that. I'm a sort of person who completely goes with the heart, and I feel that uh, uh, God is with me, and uh, I've completely taken the right role, and I'm on the correct path. If there is one contestant in the who 16 who really wants this, she does. I can see there's a hunger, there's a desire, and you know, it's coming out, literally, mm. in the form of tears. I think that, that mm -hmm. title means something to yeah. her. Did you read the newspaper this morning? No, I did not. Do you um, read the newspaper any morning? I do, but before the pageant I used to read, but now I do not get any time, so I did not. What paper do you read? I used to do, uh, read Economic Times and sometimes Times. Economic Times? Yeah. So the last time you read the Economic Times... Give us the headline. Give us something that What's was highlighted there. What, what was... caught your attention? Uh, it was uh, about Digital India. That was the thing which what, I what read about. Digital India? Digital India, basically it's about connecting people, uh, connecting... Uh, yeah, it doesn't sound like headline, headline news. I do not remember the headline, but I just remember the topic which I read okay. about. I'm not that happy with my task because uh, they, they were expecting me to speak about things which I had read one, one and a half month ago. I don't remember anything, so I just I kept convincing them that I don't remember and that they kept asking me the same thing again, again and again. What am I going to do with these girls? We've always stressed that communication is one of the main criteria for this contest specifically. So if you're going to come and say, I've worked really hard and this is my biggest dream, but yeah. I have no clue about yeah. you know, but any my, current issue. My biggest concern India, is, do they, are they aware that being prepared is also being aware of what's happening current situation? Really? The world technology, the word digital is on everyone's tongue, yeah. but they don't know deeper. And that's it. I'm a little devastated because it seems to me that there are going to be three eliminations tonight. Hang on. Don't we have, as judges, some kind of veto power? The judges have met the fiery 15 in the grill room and now it's judgment time. I'm going to call out four names and I'd like those girls to step forward. The first name that I'm going to call today is Simran. I got picked up in the bottom four. Uh, to be really honest, I did not expect. Uh, I thought I did really well. The next girl is Shivani Shetty. Yesterday also I was in bottom three and today I came in bottom four. But it was uh, pretty much expected from my side. The third name, Pooja. In my opinion, I gave my best and we don't even know that what judges are looking for. So the final decision is on the judges and I mean I respect their decision. And the fourth girl today, Apoorva. <laughs> Today, I didn't expect judges to, to call my name in bottom four. Guys, it's elimination time. Pooja, how would you rate your own performance today? In my opinion, I, I did well in my answers. and But I'm sure like you people are... <laughs> whatever judgment you will give, that will be the best. I think you should live to see another day. So Pooja, I'm sending you back. 
You're saved from this elimination. Please go back and join the other girls. Thank you so much. So, Apurva, this is your last night with us tonight. You are going home. Wish you all the best. This time, I'm not that much prepared, but next time, I'll come like, I'll become Miss Diva, for sure. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm not feeling happy, obviously, because I did lots of hard work for this pageant. But it's okay that, you know, I need to work hard on my body, work hard on my language, so that I can come again, come back and win this crown. I knew that we were facing one elimination today. I knew that, obviously, since we are having these challenges. That is the entire idea behind it. I'm a little devastated because it seems to me that there are going to be three eliminations tonight. So for a change, honestly, for once, I'm speechless. Hang on. Just a question. I don't know, but don't we have, as judges, some kind of veto power to just maybe... We do have a veto power, but that power can only be used once through the entire contest. Once. Ask them, can we I use think, it? Well, I no? think that the communication round is perhaps one of the most important rounds it in is. this competition. Okay. This veto I think power. the girls should let you know whether they, why they deserve that, because I think it's only fair okay. to the rest of the girls who are standing at the back. That means that's gone for them. Exactly. They'll never be able to utilize that, regardless of how the other rounds go. So I think yeah. that then it's up to the two of you to convince Simran. us. Right now, I'm not feeling so up to the mark, but uh, I'd like to say that I did not really expect to be here. I'll uh, work on it and I'll work really hard and uh, I'll do my best the next time. Shivani, why should I save you and not Simran? I believe uh, yesterday's performance was also not that good. Even today, it was disastrous for me. I will bounce back and give my best and I will leave no stone unturned. Well, judges, you've heard it, and I, all I can say is the decision lies in your hands. This is a huge decision for us to make because, like I said, the rescue veto power is only to be able to be used once through this entire contest. Simran, you, uh, you can go back and stand with the other girls. Thank you so very much and I won't let you down, I promise. Don't let yourself down. There's a lot of potential in you. Thank you. I feel lucky to be getting rescued out of this. Today was not my day and it did not go well. Shivani Apurva. So you all leave us tonight, girls. I'm going to step over there and take those rings back from you. But we wish you, every single one of us here, wish you a lot of love, a lot of success in life. And we're pretty, pretty sure that you're going to shine really, really bright. Thank you. I'm just sad that Apurva is going because she is the most chilled out person I've ever met. And, uh, and it's so sad. And like, I don't know what to say. But I got eliminated, but this is not the end of the world. But yes, I will work harder and I will come back strong and will make it.